the news back in August of uh, 2005, and they were going on about, no, it wasn't August, it was July in 2005, and they were, that's when they had the underground bombings in London, and they kept on mentioning Islam and Muslims, and I was like, what's a what's a Muslim or what's Islam and so I went onto the internet and did some research and I really like what I what I read you know about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and also I read some excerpts from the Quran and I, I really loved what I was reading and um, before that you know I felt like really empty like I had this big void that needed to be filled and um, when I did my, as I was doing my research on Islam, I, I started to feel that emptiness being filled up. And um, yeah, and I believe it's the best decision that I've ever made is uh, doing my shahada the next month in August, um, the 2nd, um, at 7.30 p.m. Um, yeah, that's when I made my shahada. And then, of course, my um, Saku, Saku Kofiro, um was only seven years old back then. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so yeah, you want to say something? Yeah, I was only a little kid, so I don't know what my life was like before Islam. Like, I just remember how I am now as a Muslim. There were, there are differently, um, differently, definitely stages that I've gone through with Islam. And, you know, being weak and being strong in some points in my life when it comes to my religion. But um, I'm definitely a lot stronger now than I think I was when I was a bit younger. And when I first started with Islam, I was really strong because I really wanted to follow in my mom's footsteps. And then as I entered my adolescence, I was, you know, really rebellious. And I was like, I'm going to do what I want to do, how I want to do it. And, you know, wanted to find Islam and my religion on my own terms. And now that I'm an adult and I'm in university, I definitely realize how important my religion is and how, how much it's there to guide me and look after me and yeah, so like I'm, I'm, I, I did have stages in Islam, but I'm at my strongest now, and I think I'll continue being this strong with my dean. Okay, so mom's like, <laughs> next <already>, question. <laughs> we've already covered why did you convert, and what do you like about Islam? What do you love about Islam? Okay, what do I love about Islam? Oh, this is so I could make a long list. As long as my ringa ringa. We have like five minutes now. <laughs> yeah. Do we have like a whole week? Mm -hmm. No. But um, of course, I love that it's just like this um, United Nations with everybody um, following Islam. You know, from every pocket of the world, you'll find someone who who is a Muslim. And um, yeah, I, I just love how Islam has like spread globally, internationally, so that's what I really love about the sun, of course, mm. you know, I, I love Allah. Yeah, what about you? Okay, what do I love about Islam? I love that it's a peaceful religion. Most people, you know, from what they hear on the media, are like, no, it's not. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about, because you, get, you can only get your knowledge from, you know, social media and, like, people who are on social media platforms but I know my religion so well and I know that it doesn't preach hate like that and it preaches peace purely and that's what I love and I love that even though I love the things that people would normally not like about a religion like I love that we as women are meant to cover and you know there were times when I was kind of like no, I'm like free, I'm allowed to be me, but now I'm like, it is what's best for me, and Allah did put it out there for me to, to be able to protect myself, and 
not just and when people do ask me like why do you cover I'm like it's not just for you know physical protection and you know protection from men like abuse or anything like that it's to protect me from difficulties that are in life that are only put on women you know when it comes to beauty and you know what your role is as a woman in society so I don't know how I got to this stage <laughs> right now but that's what I love about this one Mm. It was covering and praying and yeah, this is so much, eh? There's yeah, so much to love about Islam. Definitely, but we haven't got the time really. Yeah, no political. But Allah, Allah knows. Allah knows. Um, Allah subhanahu wa taala knows. And what was the next one? Uh, how was it? How has it improved you as a person? Oh yeah, of course. It's like dramatic changes in my life when um, before I became a Muslim, I was drinking and smoking and partying and the rest of it. And um, yeah, after I made my shahada, I just felt like a totally different person. Uh, was uh, I started cooking? Right. Oh my gosh! Cooking meals. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we always had takeouts before then. Yeah, and um, uh, of course, you know, my, my sons noticed um, how much of a better mother I had become after I, I re um, reverted to Islam. Um, yeah, they just noticed, like, this big change in me, you know, positive changes. And, um, um, yeah, that's, that's really how Islam has changed me as a person. What about you? What are you doing? Just looking at your cell phone. Oh, <laughs> you know, I need to keep up with my social media. Um, how has it improved me? I think Islam approved me in a lot of ways. Where I'm actually quite a controversial person. And I, <laughs> like, if somebody said anything negative to me, I was going to be like, you know what? I'm going to fight you. Let's go. And I'm still like that in some ways. But... There are times now when I'm I'm put into really awkward situations where I would usually be like, honey, let me straighten you out right now. But now I think more about how I make my religion look. And because of the way that it's depicted, I don't want to make it look like that. And I don't want people to have this perception of my religion because of the way I act out. So now I'm really like calm and I'm really zen and I, yeah, so I, I've changed quite a lot in that way when it comes to my attitude. And it's improved me also with um, just like purely like my dean, like how I treat people and how I think about putting kindness first and making sure that nobody's ever left feeling you know below anybody else and but I always make people feel it the best that they can feel that's how my religion's improved me oh my okay. <laughs> <laughs> it says over here does your family like your changes yet oh well actually you know of course they being Polynesian um I we're really tight as a family as a as a whanau as a ainga um, uh, but, you know, initially they found it really quite hard to understand, you know, I, I wouldn't shake hands with them, um, with me, e even my own um, male cousins, um, and, and of course, you know, I, I wouldn't attend parties, like celebrations, like I, I did before I became a Muslim, and um, so yeah, that, it wasn't that they didn't like my religion, it's just that they didn't understand what Islam was all about. And as the years went by, um, and they saw, you know, how I behaved, and, and I would explain things to them about how we are supposed to be as females in, in our religion and our deen, uh, they became more um, understanding, like more aware. And of course, um, coupled with that comes the understanding. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> bringing out the Polynesian in me. Okay, that looks stupid. Yeah. Um. Yeah. My yeah. my yeah my my family's mum's family, so they're they're really accepting now, and 
really they've always actually been accepting of of our religion and the people that we are um yeah i'm really blessed because i have a great family who are all christian yeah who are well yeah well most of them are christian atheist whatever who's an atheist Atheist when they don't believe in God. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, let's just move on. As a Maori Muslim, what are the challenges you have faced? It's just a Maori Muslim here. Yeah. Oh, I was like, you go first. <laughs> um, it's quite odd because I kind of sh- like had shunned out my Maori side because. And I, I didn't really want to associate myself with being Māori because I felt at a younger age it was like majority Māori who weren't accepting of me being Muslim. And I went to an all Māori school that wasn't really supportive of me. Like my teachers, some of my teachers were great and some of my peers were great, but there were always those ones that kind of made you feel uncomfortable and that made you think differently about everybody else. So being Māori and Muslim was kind of a challenge for me. And I honestly at time was given at times was given the option like, oh you can't be both, you can't be both Māori and you can't be Muslim. And I was kinda like, oh that's sad. Cause I feel like I would rock being both. So I decided, like, I love my religion and I would rather be Muslim by having that void of pushing out my Māori side because I speak fluent te reo Māori and I know my iwi and I know everything but pushing out being Māori to be Muslim was was a mistake for me. Like, I, I felt like I should have just been like, you know what, this is me, I'm going to be both Māori and be Muslim and keep up my Māori tanga, but I didn't, so that was a challenge for me for like the yeah, majority well, of my life. That's because you got bullied. Yeah, yeah. But you got bullied at school. Oh, mum, I need to tell them that. But um, yeah, that's, that was the challenge for me. And now that I'm older, I'm like unapologetically me. I'm like, I'm Māori and I'm proud and I'm Muslim and I'm proud. And this is just the way that I am. Mm. You take me in all my forms and my colours. It's just like with me being um, Samoan Muslim, you know, and, and I get a lot of, especially children, who are saying, oh, are you, are you half Muslim and, and half Samoan? <laughs> I get that from adults, believe it or not. They're like, so, are you Arab? But it's really cute coming from children. Anyway, it says over here, how do you feel about wearing the hijab? Oh, this is, this is my identity, you know, this is... Um, this is who I am, and I love wearing the hijab. But I don't feel oppressed at all. I started wearing the hijab um, the day after my shahada, and um, yeah, just love wearing it out in public because you know it's it's for me. It, it says to everybody, this is I'm a Muslim, and I'm really proud of who I am. I'm really proud of my religion. Um, I'm obedient to Allah. And if you don't don't like it too bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, for me, how do you feel about wearing hijab? Um, like I said, I had my ups and downs when it came to covering. And, you know, I, I had my times where I was bullied and I kind of I kind of didn't see the point and, and I was I was really young at the time. I think I was only like thirteen when I started getting when I got bullied really badly. Um, but now that I'm older, I couldn't see myself not wearing my scarf. Like, my hijab is the biggest part of me. It's like, it's what separates me from any other woman, you know? The kupa. Yeah, the, the kupa. The, like, the, this is what, I. this is how I identify myself as a hijabi. And, and I love that my scarf is... A way that I protect myself, and I don't feel oppressed. I get this question all the time: Are you oppressed? Yeah. Because you're wearing that. Well, do you get forced to wear that? Yeah. Does your husband force you? Everybody, and I'm like, one, I'm not married, so you can take that back. But it's 
it's not oppression. This is, I wear this because it's my choice and I wear it because I love my God. And I love the person that he's molded me into being. And it's like a really strong woman who loves her hijab just as much as she loves her Gucci pants or whatever. I don't know. Okay. And the last question, what does Islam mean to you? I haven't got my glasses what on. What does Islam mean to you? It, of course, it means submission to the will of Allah. That's what it means to me. You know, um, Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, commands me to do, it, it, I try. It's what I try to do. I'm not perfect. Um, I have. I have learned it. Um, fallen a few times with my journey um, through uh, the Dean um, but not in a bad way eh? in a bad way? no, not in a bad way but you know, what I'm trying to say is that, that we're, we're all not perfect we want to be, I try to be I try to do everything by the book but you know, there were those times when um, yeah, uh, Shaitan is always there mm-hmm. always there to try and lead you astray uh, <laughs> just as long as you as you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and don't do it again yeah inshallah um, on the day of judgment when we stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all our, all our sins will be forgiven and inshallah we will all make it to, to Jannah inshallah mm-hmm. okay what does Islam mean to me um, Islam means, it's my, my phone is like going off, yes, no. um, Islam means to me caring about something more than I, myself, you know, I, I've learned to love so much because of Islam, I've learned to love the fact that I cover for my own sake, I learned, I've learned to love everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me, like my family and my friends and, you know, just the beautiful things that I often sometimes take advantage of. But that's what Islam means to me. It's caring about more things than... Yeah, just more, more than yourself. Yeah. And my mommy. I love my mommy. <laughs> but yeah. My, my BFF. Is that what you say? Is it <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I don't know what what I where I'd be without my, without her, and I'm, and of course I, I I think that she feels the same way about me. <laughs> but oh, uh, hey. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's my journey um, to the dean, and and of course it's still continuing, and um, and 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 Subhanallah, um, my uh, daughter. Is still with the dean as well, mm-hmm. and I was like really worried because I thought, oh yeah, here comes the teenage years, and she's just gonna. But no, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Still Muslim, and I'm still growing strong. Mashallah, yes, mashallah, sweet, mashallah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's us. Yeah. So uh, far, so we fought. So far, so we fought. Yeah. Kakite, amo. Kakite. Is it koto? Yeah, koto katoa. Yeah. Aye. Okay. Bye.